I have the hydraulic cylinder attached. It's uh, not finished welded up, but it's welded up fairly strong. Um, <clears throat> and I cut the arm that went across here because it was in the way of the barrel going back further. So I'm going to uh, put the brace down here instead, across that way. I'm not going to hook it, I'm not going to be able to hook it to the PTO, I don't think, right now. Or maybe later on I'll think of a way, but for now I think I'm going to use an electric motor. Uh, 281 asked how I would gear it down from the PTO. Uh, probably just use some pulleys I could do that with. Uh, just a mixture of pulleys I can probably gear it down pretty good. But because even using an electric motor I'm probably going to have to gear that down also. Which means I can use a small electric motor. I don't have to use a very big one. Probably half horsepower probably be more than enough. Uh, gear it down far enough. And I have a couple small electric motors. I have a two horsepower motor, but two horsepower electric, but I, I don't think I'm going to use that. I don't, I, I'll use it if I need to, but I don't think I will. But anyhow, this is basically how this is going to work. Which, that's maxed out there. Yeah, the cylinder's maxed out right there. So, I'll be counting on the hydraulics of the tractor to lift that up some, to get it to dump even more. So the motor would be mounted up here. So there's no way I could make the PTO work, or a gas motor, unless it was a two-cycle motor. One uh, the oil wouldn't dump out of. I don't think I want to mess with that. So it should work. With that lifting it and also with the uh, three point hitch lifting it, it should give it plenty of tilt. Because I'm going to even jack the front of this up another eight inches or so to get more slant that backwards, yet, I believe. But we'll see what happens. What I need to do next. Let's find the center of this drum. There's a couple ways of doing it. You can look it up on the internet. Trigonometry. If I only known I'd be using it, I would have paid attention in school. But, you know what? They have it on the internet now. So, a couple ways of doing it. You do it with a compass. And also you can just do it with a straight edge, a ruler and a square. Um, I forget exactly how you do that, but you can look it up on the internet. It's all on the internet. Anything anymore is on the internet. But you can also do it with a triangle, which I have. So I just half in the half. You just got to remember where you put your marks, on what area you put your marks. Um, I'm going to find a pencil. Maybe I'll just use a piece of chalk here, it might be better. But anyhow, what you got to do anywhere on the barrels, uh, stick it flush and then you want to mark the first two here first two marks same there there and then Then you want to make a straight line. Use this. Them two marks. It's kind of hard 
to see on this rusty barrel. But let's say there. turn this not very far I didn't turn it very far at all then again make a mark here and so you got to go on the outside and come to the first place it marks you got to remember that is it'll screw you up if you don't like if you come in here and mark it it'll mess you up or like if you try to mark it down there then I think I'm done with that then you gotta do it from these two marks the center which I guess I could try it again to make sure which I want to do just probably right but you know, it's like maybe I've done this once or twice in the past 50 years well maybe the past 40 years Good to know. You're gonna need it twice, so I'm just checking it here. Which it looks perfectly right on. So must be right. So there I got the center. So now what I want to do is mount this right in the center. 